Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Penning with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well this Memorial Day weekend and enjoying um, an extra day off on their weekend. So you may wonder why there is absolutely nothing at all in front of you, right? The table's completely empty. Um, besides, you possibly may see a random cat or paw come through here. But anyway, like I said, why is the table absolutely empty? Well, this is because I am about to show you all my much anticipated um, D-Stash video. So I have 30 something plus kits um, to D-Stash. So I wanted to share them all with you, um, give you guys first dibs, on what you may like uh, before I go ahead and put it in the D-Stash groups. And Lucifer is already getting ready to jump up here. Yep, there he is. Excuse me, sir. Get down. All right, so I'm gonna start and do this kind of by brand. Um, I'm gonna start with the Diamond Art Clubs and I'll do the squares first and then I'll go ahead and do the rounds for you and then we will move on to the other um kits so um if i have enough space if youtube allows me to i will um list below all the names of the kits i'm not going to be linking them um but all the information will be below whether it's out of stock um and the price and Shipping, unfortunately, unless you're overseas and you're willing to pay that extra um, shipping, uh, yeah, more power to you if you wanna pay that extra shipping and any other fees that might uh, fall into that, I'll be more than happy to ship it out to you, um, but I just wanna make you um, aware of that. Um, if you buy more than one kit, if you guys want more than one kit, uh, shipping will be combined. Um, probably going to base it off of your zip code, but on average shipping has been between between $12 and $15, uh, depending where you're at, all right? So let's get started, shall we? So like I said, we have our Diamond Art Clubs and we're gonna start off with a square. So um, if you haven't uh, heard of this artist before, um, Roy Trin, he is a newer artist that is licensed with Diamond Art Club. He did a Zodiac series. And so I have Gemini. And a lot of these, um, they're, they're all, most of them are open because I did an unboxing video on the channel. They do not include a toolkit. Um, I'd be more than happy to make one for you if you guys need one. But the sticker sheets are in there, unless I otherwise specify or tell you any different. But this one has been opened just for video purposes and that is it so we have gemini let me see if i can get the other ones let's see try to keep them order. then we have scorpio right here uh, these are all going to be 51 by 71 centimeter square uh, diamond paintings then we have aquarius And last but not least, we have Capricorn. Now I do believe that these are no longer available on the Diamond Art Club website. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but the description below will let you guys, will tell you whether or not they're available or not. So these are the four Zodiacs that I have from Roy Trin. Like I said, they're all 51 by 71 centimeter uh, diamond paintings and they have all been opened just for video purposes. They have everything you need in them except for the toolkits. So just let me know. All right, so moving on. Move those out of the way. Those, really, that wasn't really out of the way, now was it? All right, what do we have up next? Next, we have Sailor's Ruin from Ann Stokes. Uh, this is a 55.8 by 78 0.7 centimeter square diamond painting. Um, this was a Black Friday or, you know, yeah, a Black Friday. 
Ivy. Sorry about that, you guys. Ivy likes to knock stuff off the counter. Uh, this, I believe, was from uh, Black Friday around that time. Um, it has been opened for video purposes. Um, and that is it. I am not sure if that is still available. It might be out of stock. Next, we have uh, Mermalis in the Sea of Tears by Simona Candini. It's a 70, 56 by 74 centimeter square diamond painting. This one is sealed, so it will have everything in it. And keep in mind, there's nothing wrong with the diamond paintings. You know, people's tastes have changed um, or reality of whether you're actually ever gonna do it sets in. So don't think I'm getting rid of these because there's something wrong with them, because there isn't. All right, this next one right here is a mystery kit. It is, I'm not sure which number mystery kit, but it's the one by Sandra Bergeron. It's a 55.8 by 70. 0.7 centimeter square mystery kit. It is sealed. This is no longer available. All right. Next up is another mystery kit. This is by Ann Stokes. It's the dragon one. Uh, this is 70 centimeter by 105 centimeter square diamond painting. This one also is no longer available. That is a big one. All right, next up is one of the Harry Potter series. This is All I Want for Christmas. It's a 65 by 86 centimeter square diamond painting, and it does come, it is sealed, and oops, and it does come um, with everything that you need, including this really awesome um, signature box. It's got 15 colors with three Aurora Borealis beads in it, so it's a lot of color blocking, you can see up top, this is what, you know, it kind of looks like. And it's got all the signature Gryffindor um, thing, you know, items on it. And what does that say? I can't read what it says right here, but this one is also, and this one I also believe is no longer available. <clears throat> all right, next up is Who Killed the Rabbit? Again, by Simona Candini, 56 by 71 centimeter square diamond painting kit. And this one is also sealed. All right, last up you guys, these are big ones. After much pondering and thought, I have come to the realization that I am not going to do these. Um, these are very highly sought after kits as well. Um, this one is open, but this is Gemini by Josephine Wall. It is a 70 by 88 centimeter square kit right here. Here's an upper. So Diamond Art Club no longer has a licensing with um, Josephine Wall. So these are definitely on certain people's unicorn wish list right here. That one is open for video purposes. Next up, we have Capricorn. It does not have the little sticker because it's on the box right here. And it did not come with a sticker inventory sheet. Uh, Diamond Art Club had to email it to me. So it is printed out and in the box as well. This one is also a 70 by 88 centimeter square kit. Um, super, super pretty, but I'm being realistic. I really am. That one is also open for video purposes. Last but not least for the square Diamond Art Club kits is Scorpio. And it's a 70 by 87 centimeter square kit. This one is sealed. All right. So now moving on to the round kits. There's a lot less of those. So let me just grab them. These are all, um, all of them but one are sealed. So the first one is... Alice in the Sea of Tears by Simona Candini. It's a 56 by 74 centimeter round kit right here. Next is Angel. Oh my God, there's like no room. The next one is Angel de los Muertos by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a 56 by 74 centimeter round diamond painting kit as well. Sealed. Then we have... 
Summer Love by Christina Loray. It's a 51 by 64 centimeter round kit, sealed. And then last but not least for the Diamond Art Club is You Live in My Heart by Dion Ong. It is a 56 by 74 centimeter round kit as well. Um, and this one has been opened, but just for video purposes. Now, I do have one more that I am considering, and I'm gonna show it to you just because I'm considering it, but I'm not 100% on whether or not I wanna de-stash this one. But this is Mercury by Roy Trin. It is a 50.8 by 76 centimeter um, square diamond painting kit. It is sealed. Um, I have not opened it yet, but um, yeah, if somebody can convince me, maybe I will let this one go. All right, so that is all the Diamond Art Club ones. I'm going to pause you real quick and regroup and grab some other stuff to show you. And some of them I do have to lay out. All right, so I will be right back. All righty, so this next batch that I'm going to be showing you is kind of a mishmash of different companies. Um, and we are going to start out with uh, the three that I have from Treasure Studios Art to show you. So this first one does not have a back. I mean, excuse me, it does not have a, um, a box or anything like that. Um, and I didn't don't have a toolkit, but like I said, anything that doesn't have a toolkit, I will make one if you guys really need one. Uh, this, comes, this comes with the canvas and the drills and an inventory. And I'll be, trust me, I will make sure that it gets you safe and sound, although it does not have, um, I'll put it in a box or something. But anyway... These three that I'm going to show you now are from Treasure Studios Art. These are also no longer available because there is not a licensing agreement anymore. So this first one is from Lizzie Falcon from Treasure Studios Art. And this is called Figments of Your Imagination. It is a round... And there are 35 colors in it. Let me move you up right here. So Lizzie Falcon, is, her art is no longer available on Treasure Studios Art. Now this one is um, with that mounted adhesive, or the mounting adhesive. And you guys, it's absolutely amazing. I have never had an issue. Your drills are not going anywhere. Um, I have also done a Lizzie Falcon before. Um, if you guys want to go back and look for, I did Shine by Lizzie Falcon, and it came out absolutely beautiful. So anyway, this is Figment of Your Imagination. It is a, let's see, you can see your image, and then it's a 55 by 70 centimeter round kit. The drill field is absolutely clear. This is very confetti heavy, but yeah, it has a very, very clear drill field. So here are the drill colors right here. And then here is a better picture of what the image itself looks like right here. So this one is will be available. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll this up. Now you do have to be careful um, with the mounted adhesive and not roll it the opposite way because you can damage the canvas by doing so. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of put that out of the way over here for right now. This next one I have, also by Lizzie Falcon, is also a 55 um, by 70 centimeter kit. I'm not, let me peek, I'm not sure if it's a round or a square or not, but here's the image right here, it's called The Masquerade by Lizzie Falcon. And I'm going to pull out the drills. I'm just going to pour out the, let's see, I don't know. Let me try and get the drills out real quick just so I can tell you guys if it's a round or a square because I honestly cannot remember. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it is also a round. is also a round but here is the image again it will come in this tube 
I'll show it to you in a second. Let me just get this top back on. Comes in this very, very sturdy um, tube. I will also put it in a box. I will not just wrap paper around this. Um, it will be in a box just so it doesn't come undone. But this is the masquerade. This next one is by Mystique Art. It's called Siren. It's a 55 by 70 centimeter kit as well. I will peek to see if it is a square or a round. Mystique Art is no longer licensed with Treasure Studios Art either. Um, but yep, yeah, there she is right there. And let's take a look to see. This one is also a round as well. So those are the three that I am de-stashing from Treasure Studios Art. This one will also come in its tube as well. Oh my God. Where's Jack in her struggle bus? Cause I cannot get this tube back on to save my life. There we go. I got it. No, I don't. Hold on. Just give me a second, you guys. I want to clean as I go. There we go. I got it now. All right. Next up is a kit from Craftably. This one is no longer available. Um, on their site, they are don't have a license anymore. They're not licensing this anymore. This is Flow of Time by Warmtail, and it's a 24 by 32 inch square diamond painting right here. So again, this one is no longer available either. And this is a big one. Remember, Craftably does go by inches and not centimeters. This next one is from... Um, Captured by Radiance, it is a, let's see, it's a 80 by 60 centimeter square diamond painting kit, and I am not sure who it's from, but this is the image right here. You guys can see that, there we go, there's the image right there. Um, let me see if I can... This has been opened because this was sent um, as a, I just opened it for a, uh, a video. I'm trying to find, okay, let me find the inventory to show you guys real quick. Uh, this is called Puppies and Butterfly by Adrian Chesterman right here. Okay. Come on, people, let's get back in here. But yeah, the entire sticker sheet. So you get an inventory. This does have ABs. All right, I'm just going to shove these back in here. Uh, I'll just do this later. So that one is puppies and butterflies. All right, next up, we have Goddess Aurora. And this is licensed off Shutterstock, and this is from Lola Rose Diamonds right here. It is a 60 centimeter by 70 centimeter round kit with 30 colors to include two ABs right here. And that is from uh, Lola Rose Diamonds. This next one is from Paint with Diamonds right here. This is called Baker's Dream. It is a 60 by 60 and I think it is a square. So I know you guys are shocked I'm getting rid of a pig. I am. But it's this cute little chef pig with some macarons around it and Baker's Dream. Next we have this kit from, let me rip this off to eat that, from Diamond Dots. I'm not quite sure the name of it, but this is a full square drill kit with 39 colors. Right here, I don't know if it's, I think it's called Lantern. I'm not quite sure, but it is a full canvas area. So you can kind of get a look of what it's going to look like up at the top of the box. This next one is from Oraloa. 
and I can't pronounce it. But yep, this is from Oraloa. I think it's called, uh, this is what it's, it's called here. Um, I'm not sure if this is round or square. Oh, right here, it is a 45 by 45 um, round diamond painting kit right here. Next up for this particular bunch is Yellow Frida by Caroline Smith from Distracted by Diamonds. It's a 62 by 88 centimeter round diamond painting kit right here. So it is quite large. Don't worry about the box. The box is a little beat up, but it will come safe and sound. So I'm gonna clean these up and then bring over um, probably the last of the ones I'm going to show you guys, all right? So I will be right back. All right, are we ready for the next round? So all of these I had to unroll because they do not have boxes. Well, one of them does, but I saw it's unroll. There's no picture on the box. Um, this is also from a different uh, batch of company. So this first one is from uh, Sherry Baldy, from Bella Safina. And this is called Arabian Arrival. Um, I've had this for quite some time. I think it's absolutely adorable, but I haven't done it yet. I'm probably not going to. Well, I'm just being realistic. So it does come. I do have the inventory. I just have to go and get it. It's in the craft room, but this is a round diamond painting kit. And it is, what size is it? It does have um, one, four ABs in it, poured glue, and there are 46 colors. And I am not quite sure what size it is. I want to say it's like possibly a 60 by 60 right here. I'm almost sure it's a 60 by 60 but I will go and uh, verify that because I have to get the inventory out of my uh, crafter, all right? So that is the next one, Arabian Arrival. So move this out of the way. So this next one is also from Lola Rose Diamonds. It is called um, the, oh my God. Drop us up. The Queen. The Queen of Darkness. It is a round diamond painting kit. It is a 70 by 70. Yeah, so this other one must be a 60 by 60 or a 50 by 50. Right? I think it's a 6 by 60. So this is a 70 by 70 round diamond painting kit right here from Lola Rose Diamonds. All right, next up are two kits from Dreamer Designs. This first one, I believe, is, oh, this is a Moon Lily by Curtis Reykjavich. This is a, I have a little tag right here. Um, I don't know, I have the drills, like, they're in the bag. But this is a 60 by 80 diamond uh, square centimeter, 60 by 80 centimeter diamond painting with 66 colors and it has one, two, three, four AB drills in it. Let me see. I think it, oh, I believe it is a square, but let me, uh, just give me a second and let me find all these drills. It does not have a box, but it does have the bag. stickers came up with let me peek at the diamonds real quick for you all right this is a square so moon lily is a square and it does have the long legend like this on it with the, the peelable stickers Yeah, so she is a big one. I am not sure if she's out of stock or not, but this is Moon Lily. The next one 
Come on. The next one is Daydreamer, also a 60 by 80 centimeter square diamond painting, or I think it's a square. I'm pretty sure it's a square, but I'll look. Sorry, I'm just trying to organize. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Daydreamer right here. She has 68 colors with one, two, three, four, five ABs in her. Let me look. She also does not have a bag, but does have um, the sticker inventory and the dust bag. And Daydreamer is also a square diamond painting kit as well. Last but not least is a six, 60 by 60 um, square, I think, yep, square diamond painting kit from Royal Diamond Painting. Now, uh, unfortunately, Royal Diamond Painting is no longer in business, but this is one of the kits that I have. Um, it's super, super cute, but um, now you can see all these grid lines because um, normally I've been told that they were, it was a cross stitch and it was converted over. Um, they do come, this does not have an inventory, did not come with an inventory and the drills are in these little itty bitty packs of 200 right here. There are no ABs in this kit at all, but it is super, super cute. Um, there is a legend, so at least you'll have that to go off of, but there is a lot of color blocking and just a little bit of confetti, but, and I'm not quite sure, this is called Ocean Cat from Royal Diamond Painting. All right, you guys, well, let me clean this up and we will be down to the last few items, all right? So give me one second. All righty, we are back for the final part of the D stash. There are five, five items left and they are all from Craft Ease. But before I got to go into that, I do want to show you that I did find the Bella Safina inventory and the letter you get. Um, and this information, you don't care about that. But the certificate of authenticity, Arabian arrival, the licensing term, the graphic credits. But most important, oh, personal note from Sherry myself and here is the inventory right here and let me bring it up but it does come with one two three four okay five four um i already told you guys that four ab's but everything will go except for you know the note with my name on it because you guys probably don't care about that and it's really not that important but i wanted to let you know that it was i did find it so let's get into our oops our last uh, five items, shall we? So this first image is for, by Sybil Art, right here. This is one of their older kits where the bags were, um, the, the bags, the drills were pre-bagged, so they do come with special drills. Um, this one, what is her name? I forgot what her name is because Crafties doesn't put it on. This is Grisette. It's a 40 by 50 round centimeter round diamond painting. It does come with ABs and special drills. Um, it does not come with an inventory though. Um, that's just how they do things, but you can already see some of the ABs, but these are the drills. And these are the glow in the dark drills. So let's see if I can figure out what is what. So we do have the glow in the dark. And then it looks like there is one, it looks like there are two ABs, the yellow and then a black AB. Um, I love Civil Arts work, it's super, super cute. And these are really fun uh, snack size canvases, all right? Um, so let me just roll this right back up. Um, the boxes are very flimsy, so I will be um, putting these in a, another type of box to make it more secure. And this does come with a dust cover that I am putting back on it. So let me toss this back in the bag. Now, these other two canvases um, 
were their new way of doing things. However, they are going back to the mixed and special drills. So this first one is also by Sebel Art. Um, this was a paint by number that I asked to have turned into a diamond painting because you can do that for crafties. But since then, they have also put this as a diamond painting. But it's this cute little girl with a little raccoon at the top. Um, here is a better look. It does come with an inventory sheet. It is a 40 by 60 round diamond painting, legally licensed by Sybil Art. And you do get an inventory with this. However, the downfall was these um, pre-bags like little drills. And that's the way they were doing things. So that way they could offer larger sized kits. All right. So this next one though is by Seda Kosan. And this is Spirited Away. It's a 40 by 40 and it is a round diamond painting. It does come with an inventory right here, but it does come with these little drills. But it also comes with some release papers. So it's just this really simple, you know, it's really, really cute. Um, no ABs. Um, that was the, they started offering double size, like two different sizes to choose from. So I guess that meant they weren't able to do the special drills for whatever logistical reason. But since then they are going back to the ABs. But this is um, Spirited Away by Seda Kosan. All right, now, oh my goodness. These last two items are from Crafties, but they are not diamond paintings, nope. In fact, they are paint by numbers. So I thought it would be cool to maybe try it out and see what I thought about a paint by number, and I'm just not into it. Um, these are going to be um, $10 a piece flat off the bat, just because I know there are not a lot of people out there that likes paint by numbers um, with shipping though. So $10 with shipping. So this one, this first one is of um, the Flatiron District and Flatiron is actually one of my favorite parts of the city uh, to go to, but I just know I'm never going to do it. So this first one's Flatiron. You get everything. It has never been opened. But here is your canvas. This is what it looks like. Your schematic. And then all of your paints. They're all sealed, so they should all be good to go still and not dried out or anything. And then, of course, you do get your brushes. So that is the first one. A flat iron. This second one doesn't have a picture on it. So hopefully I can. Hopefully it has the name on it. Of course it doesn't. So there's our schematic. Here it is. Hopefully I can link this one down below because I do not have a name for it. It has everything you need. Oops, oh my goodness the paints, and what have you. So this one will also be um, $10. It also comes with the hardware to hang it. And I do apologize that I do not know the name of this one. Hopefully, I'm gonna look on the box and maybe it will be on there. And it isn't, so. Maybe you guys have kids or nieces or nephews that like to do paint by numbers. But so there you have it, guys. That is my entire D stash. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and hit me up. You guys get first, you know, you guys get first dibs before I send it out to the D stash groups. So make sure you uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if not, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe, be kind. Bye.